I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? She was a good soldier. Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? It was my decision. It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. You can't blame yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Duh. Awesome. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay. Go ahead. I don't think you saw it, but Shepard's eyes rolled back in her head as she was standing up. Relax, Commander. It looked really creepy. Embrace eternity. Don't get the part with the mouth. I don't either. It looks kind of funny though. This is all gonna be copyrighted, so I'll have to actually dub over it. Oh no! Incredible. I, I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. This is important. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. Anything else? What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. Okay, let's go. Hmm. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. We'll just have to be careful. Um, we have really no choice. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. <laughs> that the was like a reversed... Oh. Exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Uh, alright, go ahead. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. All right, go ahead. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. We got bigger problems. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Are you serious? Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. We should just drag the three of them out it's to the next mission with us. Saren is you see this? Do you see this, Shep? <laughs> Seriously. Our intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Don't be dumb. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> Fuck you! Which means we can be saying? right about two Go things. Ahead. This is the second thing. <laughs> Maybe you're wrong about you, Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Fuck. Enough. Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. Uh, this is getting old, though. Yeah. We seem to have a lot of disagreements, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. 
Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. I'm glad they spoke up, because that, that ending part actually made me feel a lot less angry mm -hmm. towards them. Because that's, that is true. All of this, from their perspective, would be really circumstantial. I have no mm -hmm. real evidence that any of this is going on. Which is more inconvenient than anything. But anyway, alright, let's talk to the crew. And um, we might be done for the night if you want to be done for the night. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay. But man, we're wrapping up. It'll be next time. We'll be done. Um, we're, we're really getting down yes, to the Commander. wire here. Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Because what everyone's... did you have to ask about? Oh, Caden's biotics. Yeah. That's why it was an option. Yeah. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Yep. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's the best! I'm getting some deja vu here. Um, but... Pff, okay. Alliance medical personnel take courses in alien biology. Just in case. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Yes, yeah, so do I. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning, or was he The perverted part is sometimes, like, glory? when I write a uh, TF sequence whatever or whatever, that kind of thing is, like, awesome now. to me. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Slowly yes, losing your mind right. to someone else's whims. Yeah. But usually but it's people that don't want to wipe out the it. whole universe. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Okay. Uh, that's bad. I should go. Goodbye, Would you say we're caught in an endless chase? I knew it was coming. I knew you were going to go for it. Really? I was waiting for it. Yep. Really? Yup. I was waiting for it. Wow. All right. Cool. Let's talk to Loverboy. We are in sync. Backstreet's back, all right. I, I knew you were going to start singing an NSYNC song, but my brain's like, I can't think of a single NSYNC song right now. All I can think of are Backstreet Boys songs. If you want me, girl, there's the easy way out. Oh, yeah. Um, I... That's not in sync. Oh, it's not. No, I think There's that's no Spice Girls. Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's that's a boy, that's by a boy band. When you're ready to go, there's no easy way out. I think, I think that out. is in sync. Okay. Da, 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 da. I had a moment where I forgot what down. gender Tum Justin Just Timberlake was. Don't give up on your faith. Up on your faith. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, the next line has the title of the song in it, but I can't remember it. It's been a struggle, but we've earned their respect now. And you've been at the I can't think of the rest of the song. I'm surprised I remember that much of it. I, I haven't heard that in over ten years. I don't think I've ever met a woman like you. <laughs> That's a really old line. <laughs> I bet you say that to all your commanding officers. <laughs> That's well, an old line too, since actually. I heard the captain's mess gets better food. <laughs> Whoa! Wait. Was that an innuendo? Because that sounds gross. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it wasn't, but I still think it sounds like one, and that's gross. He wants to eat out the captain's mess. In the meantime, we save the Jim just had a massive oh. visible twitch. Oh. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. I hate my imagination sometimes. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking... I didn't plug a few people in the face just because they snapped at me, though. How did you deal with the loss on Torvin? Mm. I thought to do better. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. 
Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Yeah, the Torvin, um, the Torvin background's supposed to be the renegade background, but I've slowly turned Paragon again over this playthrough, so it's <laughs> like... That makes absolutely no sense. I was completely ruthless. <laughs> but apparently not. <laughs> You're okay. rewriting your own history, Shepard. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Suddenly there's a TARDIS in the middle of this room. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, shit. It turns out you didn't destroy all the time, Lawrence. Commander, I wanted to thank you. You've already thanked me. What for, Garrus? For everything. I've thought about what you said. This is all the same. Eliminating the threat immediately. This way, Words mean no more yeah. red tape. Very good. I'm glad you Don't see worry, it. Commander. I will. All right, let's see. Oh, don't have to talk to Ashley anymore. <laughs> Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Thank you. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Oh, he will. No matter what it takes, I'm going to hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. So long, Rex. Shepard. We have reached bro status. Oh, hey! They all made it out! What? Freaking sweet! They're on board? You my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like yelling that after me as I'm walking away from it. You need something? No. I should go. See you later. Alright, that's the whole crew. Um, Next time on Mass Effect, we're going to... God, where are we going? Hang on. Ilos? Uh, I don't think so. Report to the Council. Okay. Yeah, we have to go back to the Citadel and talk to the Council about all this stuff and actually plan because we need to rally the fleet to actually protect the whatever. And to hold the line and all that. Yeah. yeah. yeah get all that shit done. So, next time, we're going to beat the game. Well, not next time for them because it'll probably be like several more parts, but the next time you and I sit down together. Yeah. Yes. Next time, we will. it'll be done. In the next session. I'm almost 100% positive. There we go. Hold line! <laughs>